assalamu alaikum my dear students today we will talk about scope of biochemistry scope of biochemistry as its name indicate it's the importance or application of biochemistry uh, we can uh, define uh, biochemistry first that bio is a uh, bio means life and chemistry means chemical composition so biochemistry is that branch of chemistry which deals with or uh, daily life changes and processes which occurred in our body our living organism is called biochemistry biochemistry is much more broader branch of bio of chemistry we can't define it in some lines so uh, it is um, biochemistry is an applicable chemistry it's an applicable chemistry to the study of biological processes at cellular and molecular level if we will goes to the uh, to, to the cellular or molecular or tissue level so it is uh, that branch of chemistry which is applicable chemistry to the study of biological processes or changes which occurred at cellular and molecular level <clears throat> At around about 20th century, this biochemistry is considered as a distinct discipline or distinct field and the scientists combine uh, chemistry, biology and physiology to investigate the living system. Uh, the scientists combine mainly physiology, chemistry and biology to investigate the living system by studying the structure and behavior of complex molecules found in biological material and the scientist is also used to investigate the way in which these molecules interact with each other to form uh, uh, these molecules will interact with each other to form a tissue organ and organ system tissue organ and whole organism or organ system so scientists mainly uh, used to come investigate all those living changes or living system uh, with which the structural and behavior of complex molecule found in those biological systems and biological material are the way in which these molecule or tissue or cells will interact with each other to form um, or cling with each other. These molecule will cling or uh, will interact with each other to form a tissue, organ and organ system, organism. The scope of biochemistry cannot be defined in some lines or in some words. It is as wider as our life. Biochemistry, uh, we can say it is a language of biology. Uh, uh, just like our language, we can't talk without our language. Same like that, the biology cannot talk without biochemistry. Is it is a combination of biology and chemistry. So we can say in simple words, it is a language of biology. Being a biochemist, the scope in our daily life being a biochemist we can uh, study the changes or processes or chemical processes or changes with which uh, which occur in a living system the biochemist is mainly concerned with all those processes and changes occurred in living organism and the scope of biochemistry if we will talk about the scope of biochemistry in our daily life uh, this biochemistry is mainly concerned with uh, production, um, production are the processes which are uh, which which mainly concerned with the production of um, all those chemical changes which occurred in a living organism. It uh, uh, biochemistry mainly concerned with the product and processes which occurred in the living organism are mainly mm, the uh, reproduction occurred in the medicinal sciences. Most of the biochemical processes which occurred in the medicinal sciences are uh, in our daily life. We can say this uh, biochemistry is having a very positive role in the production of uh, food additive, medicinal um, um, medicinal product formation uh, along with it there is uh, also um, the biochemistry play a very vital role in the um, agriculture area as well as in our daily life agar, 
uh, if we talk about the food additive, so it can uh, also uh, produce all those products which can be used as a food additive in our daily life. This biochemistry uh, is also concerned, it concerned with the chemistry of living processes, for example, cell development, breathing, uh, respiration, digestion, and all those metabolic processes which occurred in our body, which will generate then a chemical energy in the form of uh, the usable form of an energy in our body. Those chemical changes or processes will um, go on into the production of uh, usable form of an energy, ATPs. So uh, this uh, biochemistry concerned with the metabolic processes or metabolism and living energy changes such as uh, growth, living energy changes is mainly about the growth, development, and reproduction. Growth along with the aging processes and the death occur at the end. So the biochemistry is mainly concerned with all those developmental changes which occurred in any of the individual or human being, or we can say in living organism. Biochemist, uh, is also concerned with all those uh, sudden heritable changes or we can use a term mutation that lead to the uh, those mutation at a uh, gene level can leads to the uh, cancer and other diseases uh, so biochemist can easily study out the genetics or all those genetic phenomena uh, which undergo a changes by, um, by either of the cause either radiation or drugs or um, uh, any of the lights, um, uh, radiations. So this mutation is a sudden heritable change which is also studied by biochemists and uh, which will lead to the detection of most harmful diseases, for example, cancer and some other diseases. So biochemistry is also used to develop all those biochemical tests that detect a diseases. Generally, the most common diseases as well as the genetic disorder at genes level and other abnormalities in most of the individuals. So <clears throat> biochemistry is uses all those tools or techniques which are uh, which is much more useful in the detection of um, most of the harmful diseases. Uh, if uh, if we will go towards the uses of biochemistry in different fields, biochemistry is much more wider chemistry. It is uh, its uh, scope, or we can say, a use or application is uh, varying from plants up to the medicinal sciences or medicinal products, um, uh, from the microorganism up to the most complex microorganism, or we can say the most complex um, organism is human being. So this biochemistry uses, uh, when we, we, uh, we are coming towards the uses of biochemistry in different fields, so first we will talk about agriculture is this use of biochemistry is much more important in the botany or uh, plants. Different uh, tissues or uh, different um, plant um, uh, classes can be studied by biochemists by, uh, by studying or extracting a medicinal uh, compounds from all those plants by analyzing all those plants. Uh, for its uh, medicinal uses are to know about the tissue structure or tissue culturing. Uh, there are different biochemical techniques used to culture, to use as a culture method or techniques to extract the tissues or cell from the plants and used for the different biochemical analysis. For example, if we, we can extract um, the um, uh, most of the medicinal compound uh, that is a secondary metabolites which is present in most of the plants which can act as a reducing agent in chemistry uh, and can be used for reduction purposes. Uh, for example, in nanoparticle formation we used most of the uh, medicinal plant and from those medicinal plant we extracted medicinal compounds. We call those compounds as secondary metabolite which can act as a uh, reducing agent to reduces um, uh, other compounds are naturally reductant uh, act, uh, they act as a natural reductant. Uh, so if the biochemist know about the chemistry of plants, 
they can uh, generate or we can say they can farm their own farms and plant nurseries um, along with uh, uh, they can uh, farm a, a plant field for its own self along with plant nurseries or they can do their uh, agriculture engineering or uh, expertise in that field can lead them into the um, towards the uh, uh, agriculture engineering or uh, agriculture uh, farm nurseries formation. Uh, bi biomedical sciences, bio biochemistry also deal with biomedical sciences, the pharmacology, or we can say with the biomedical sciences included. This this term is much more wider. We can um, this included a very large area that it uh, biochemist is concerned with most of the biochemical uh, tests in the laboratory used for the diagnosis of most of the common diseases. For example, if we take an example of diabetes mellitus this diabetes mellitus can be uh, detected by one of the most common or simpler test that is um, by the benedict test or filling test which is done over there in the biochemistry lab to detect the simply the sugar level in the laboratory by detecting or reducing sugar and that is glucose level in the laboratory. So uh, this biochemistry is also concerned with the study of uh, biomedical sciences are, are um, it, which vary from the uh, clinical data or clinical uh, side up to the applicable um, side, up to the applicable uh, uh, sciences. Uh, it, uh, this biochemistry uh, is also used in the field of nutrition, is nutritionist can tell us about the basic nature of uh, the biomolecules or the nutrition with which our body is concerned and uh, nutritionist can analyze all those diet which we have taken in our daily life. So they are just like an analyst. They can act as an analyst which can tell us about the energy level or calories of our daily food intake. Is a clinical chemist. So biochemist can act as a clinical chemist. They can do a lot of tests for the diagnosis and testing of different diseases. And biochemistry is also used in drug pharmacology uh, and uh, the mechanism of action of drugs can be found in its side effect along with effects can be studied over there. Um, this biochemistry is much more helpful to study the um, drug chemistry or pharmacology. It is also biochemistry is also helpful in the studying of toxicology to study a toxic substances which can stop or uh, which can retard or stop any of the chemical process or changes occurred in a living organism. So that uh, th those substances is called toxic substances in the study with which we concern is called toxicology. So biochemistry is frequently used to mm, analyze or to detect or to study all those toxic substances which are involved in the retardation or stoppage of chemical changes or processes occurred in a living organism. And criminology, criminology is mainly concerned with the forensic phenomena uh, over there. This biochemistry is also play a very important role in the detection of most of the forensic cases. And vaccine development is, I have already told you in my previous one lecture that biochemistry play a very important role in the control or we can say in the um, curing of COVID-19, which is started at the end of 19, 2019. So vaccine, which is developed against uh, all those viruses uh, in the vaccine development, this biochemistry also play a very important role over there. So biochemist can work at all level and with all types of biological organism. Biochemistry, we can't define it in some lines, the scope or application of biochemistry, but the most short on our pointed out scope and uh, importance or we can say application are some of the uses of biochemistry is over here. So we will talk about, uh, inshallah, we'll meet you in my next one lecture.